everyone, welcome back to my channel, Decorate with Dana. Today I wanted to bring you my 2018 fall home decor tour. I've kind of stressed about this because this is what I do every year. I put things down, I rearrange, I feel like I never can get it perfect, but this is where it's gonna stay, I'm pretty sure. There may be a few changes here and there, but this is how we're going to go ahead and keep it. So uh, let me just show you around and show you what I've done. And mostly it'll just be my main level uh, I don't really decorate the bedrooms or the bathrooms upstairs. So this would be as if you were coming in through my front door. And over here to the left is my dining room. And to the right is a like a living room area. So we'll start over here at my entryway table. I have this mirror that I got from, I ordered online about 10 years ago. It's a window pane mirror in a black distressed finish. I love it. I have this wreath. It's just a basic greenery wreath that I got from TJ Maxx and I added the pumpkin picks and the cotton picks to just kind of give it a fall vibe. Sorry about the sun coming in. I can't really control that. So I hope it's not washing this out too badly. Over here, I got this entryway table from Home Goods, I love it. Over here, I have this um, sensational white pumpkin candle that I got from Home Goods in this little cake stand, and I just put the artificial leaves around it. I have this lamp that I got from Target, and I have this squishy pumpkin that I got from Marshalls. Around it, I have this thankful place mat that I got from Hobby Lobby with the Buffalo check that I love, that's so popular this year. I got the garland that has the green and um, orange beading on the black stem. I got that from the Target dollar spot, along with the LED little globe lights in the green and white. I also got those from the Target dollar spot this year. I don't, I'm, I have these lit right now and I know you can't really see because the sun is so bright. So I'll try to insert a clip of what it looks like um, in the evening time here. And then coming down here, I have my coach rain boots that I generally don't ever wear. So they're kind of just make a cute decoration down there. I have this big basket that I believe I got from Home Goods along with that sweater knit pillow and the burlap and black pillow. Those were given to me by my mom as a gift. The pillow, or the, um, excuse me, the throw blanket with the embroidered letter B I got from, uh, I think it was 21 Silver Boutique last year. This pumpkins, wooden pumpkin sign I got from Hobby Lobby, as well as this trick or treat pumpkin I also got that from Hobby Lobby two years ago. So that's pretty much everything in the foyer area. Coming in here to the dining room, on my table I just have this um, lamb's ear and cotton stem arrangement in this white pitcher. Most of that is probably from Hobby Lobby. The white pumpkin pick was from Hobby Lobby. The two pumpkins with the greenery on either side are from the Target Dollar Spot. And the artificial gourds, I believe, are from Michael's. And the beads are from Hobby Lobby. And the table runner is actually from a craft show. I got that a couple years ago. It's not fall, but I like the colors that it brings in. On the wall is uh, my thankful and blessed sign. I don't know if you caught my um, haul, my Hobby Lobby haul the other day, but I purchased that there and I love the way it looks in this space. Coming over here, I have this bookshelf that I got from Home Goods, and above it, I have these two wall sconces I got probably 10 years ago, so I'm not exactly sure where they're from. In the wall sconces, I have these little Acorns that I purchased from Michaels brings in the fall colors. Coming down on the top shelf, I have this wooden pumpkin. I think I got this at a craft show again, probably like 10 years ago. The arrangement back behind with the 
the hay and the pine cones and the wheat um, is from Michael's probably five years ago. My apples and pumpkin pancakes candles from Bath and Body Works. And that cakes or that candle stand is, I believe, from TJ Maxx. And then this little arrangement are just the pumpkins are all from the Target Dollar Spot. And again, I have another one of those table runners on top of the shelf. Coming down here, this clock my husband made a couple years ago. The Let There Be Pumpkin Spice is from TJ Maxx last year. And then that pumpkin that does light up is from Big Lots last year. And then on the bottom shelf, I just have my candy bowl. It's not full yet, but for Halloween night, I just put that there for now. And I got that at Sam's Club two years ago. And then I just have a cake stand over there. So coming over here, I have this little shelving unit with the drawers. This was given to me by my mom years ago. I actually want to chalk paint this white. So I will probably make a video on how I'm going to do that. Never have done it. So this will be fun. So I have this garland that I just kind of looped over the top has the pine cones and the couple different like green beading and uh, looks like cinnamon sticks. But anyways, it's really pretty. It's very fall which could actually be carried right over to Christmas time if you wanted to use it. I know it's not Thanksgiving time yet, but I have my two little pilgrim boy and girl there and I love them. So I just like to put them out now because I don't really have a lot of extra Thanksgiving decor. So I kind of just put those out when I decorate for fall. Coming down here, I just have a couple plates and lantern and those that little dried flower arrangement. Down there, this little bird came from Michael's last year. And down here, I have my little bucket with the pumpkins kind of spilling over the side. And in these little bowls, I have, this is just like an acorn filler, the gold sparkly. And then I have some Hershey miniatures in the fall decor uh, back there. So coming over here, we have a little kind of like serving bar area in the dining room. And I have put this, this little arrangement came from um, Big Lots this year. And again, it just has the greenery with the cotton stems in this tin container and the burlap bow. Um, that tray, that round tray is from Target last year. And most of those pumpkins, I believe, are from Target last year. And then the pumpkin cupcake candle is from Bath & Body Works. I just have that decor, the stars and beadery, um, beads, like a little candle ring underneath it, sitting on this candle stand that I got from Big Lots this year. And on it, I have it's sitting on this place mat that I got from Big Lots this year. And over here, this was full till my husband got it last night. I just have some of the fall uh, M&Ms. So this is just kind of an overview of the dining room. So coming over here, this front living room is going to change. I'm going to be painting that probably a gray color and hopefully getting new furniture, possibly painting this cabinet. So I really haven't done much in here. This is really kind of just the catch-all area right now. So on this little um, shelf, I can't remember what this is called. This is actually an antique. So I do want to paint this, probably chalk paint this white and distress it. I have these two little pumpkins. Normally they will go out on my front porch. I just, my husband and I are in the process of cleaning the front porch, so I haven't put them out there yet. Just have this candle on that candle stand that I got at TJ Maxx. And then down here, I just have a mishmash of stuff. It's really not anything, um, you know, of any importance. Now, again, we don't really use this room, so I wanna change it and make it a lot nicer. Um, so we will hopefully use it a little more. Over here, I just have this fall sign down at the bottom. Uh, I got from Big Lots and then above it, that 2017 mason jar with the flowers, those were actually arrangements from my daughter's high school graduation party. Uh, 
in 2017. So this is, that's a little cat bed. So that would be this front room. So now coming into my small bathroom, I don't do a ton in here, but I do have a few decorations. I have um, up here, I have this grateful, thankful, blessed sign. Those two little, um, I think that was from Michael's. The two little greeneries on either side were from TJ Maxx. And my daughter, because I left the price tag on it, got me this little bar of soap with that pumpkin. It's so cute. That's from TJ Maxx as well. And then coming down here on our decorated cat box that my husband made, I have this floral arrangement from Michael's. And over here, I have this pumpkin coconut candle from Bath and Body Works. And that's pretty much everything in this little bathroom besides I have my... Um, afternoon apple picking soap from Bath and Body Works. So coming back out of the bathroom, coming around over here to my family room. Um, this is where I really went out of the box. I went for a kind of black and white, a little more Halloween mantle. I normally, I've never done this before. And I think I like it, it's different. It's not what I normally would do. So let me tell you where I got everything. Those two candles, the black and white stripe one and the black and white polka dot one are from the Target Dollar Spot. Those two candlesticks, I believe I got from Hobby Lobby last year. The Friendsgiving sign I got from Big Lots last year. The two little houses were from the Target Dollar Spot. And the pumpkin guy with the checked hat is from Hobby Lobby. And I got him last year, but they have them this year. I've seen them. These three little candles are from a craft show and I just picked them up yesterday. And then this little pumpkin guy is from Michael's uh, this year. And then I just have one of the flameless candles on this candle stand that I got from Big Lots this year. And then this is another little um, pitcher tin with the greenery and the cotton stems and the pumpkin. And I got, I think all of that from Hobby Lobby this year. And then I just have this little garland, the Buffalo checked garland with the burlap that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then some more of those little uh, LED battery powered lights that I got from the Target Dollar Spot this year. Again, you can't really see what it looks like all lit up right now, so I will insert here a picture of what it looks like in the evening when it's lit up to give you a little bit better idea. And that big mirror I got from TJ Maxx last year. Coming down here, I just have these two lanterns that I purchased from Pier 1 around Christmas time. And then over here, we just put some real logs to kind of make it look like a wood burning fireplace, even though it's a gas fireplace. And then coming over here, I just have some more greenery. This is with the eucalyptus and cotton stems in my Ray Dunn pitcher. And I put that little acorn in it just to kind of give it a little bit more of a fall vibe. And I got the pitcher at TJ Maxx, the greenery and the cotton stems and uh, from Hobby Lobby and the acorn is from Michaels. And then this lamp, boy, we got this years ago, probably 10 years ago. I'm not even sure where exactly we got this. And then right there is our dog Jack that passed away last year. My daughter ordered me this Print, or this frame from Etsy and I absolutely love it. So coming over here on the sofa, just pretty basic. I just have these um, pillows, these pumpkin pillows that I got from the Target dollar spot. I think they were $5 each. Um, this pillow right here came from TJ Maxx this year. And this pillow came from, oh, this was also the same one that came from the Target dollar spot. So I have two of those. These blankets, the white fuzzy blankets on either side of the sofa came from TJ Maxx. They're both the same. 
And then the one in the middle came from Joann's last year. And then down here, just pretty basic, I have this pumpkin on this book, which is amazing. I don't know if you guys have seen this book, but this A Touch of Country Charm, I can't recommend this book enough if you like country decor and it gives you a lot of DIYs. I love this. So I just have this pumpkin that I put right there and then I have this thankful candle that I got this year from TJ Maxx. So coming into the kitchen, I've just done very minimal. I don't like a lot in the kitchen. Um, it's just, I just don't like a lot on there. So this shelf, we keep all our dog leashes and this picture my daughter gave me from uh, TJ Maxx. I have yet to put pictures in there, but I have to do that. Um, and then those two pumpkins, I think both came from TJ Maxx last year. So I have this thankful banner that hangs above the sliding glass door. The arrangement I have on my table is just pretty basic. I just put some uh, pumpkins and filler all around it with the cotton stems. Wasn't sure, I'm not sure if I love this, but you know, I will keep it here for now until I figure out if there's something better that I wanna do. And then over here, my coffee station, I just like to keep this pumpkin spice and all things nice um, cup in the coffee pot. And I have to always keep my pumpkin spice seasoning out because I love to put that in my coffee. Uh, above my kitchen sink, I have this thankful, grateful, blessed sign that came from Michael's this year. And then over here, I have just this little white pumpkin. And then above my window, I've put this greenery. Um, this is from the Magnolia collection at Target. And I like that there. I think I'll just probably always keep that there. I won't probably move that at all. I have this vanilla pumpkin Marshall, uh, marshmallow candle that I got from Bath and Body Works. And um, I just put this greenery ring around it and it's in one of the Bath and Body Works holders. Um, over here, I don't really do anything. I don't have any other decor. And then over here, I just have this little get stuffed um, picture or sign that I got from Big Lots. So I think that pretty much wraps up my home decor, my fall home decor tour for 2018. I would love to know what you guys think. Do you like this mantle? I just thought it was different. It was cute. Normally I have the oranges and the greens and the reds and this year I just, I don't know, I kind of went for a little bit of a Halloween black and white vibe. And then I did continue to bring on the traditional colors um, in the other rooms. So please let me know what you guys think of the home tour. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this. I have a lot of other videos coming up, a lot of cleaning videos, and I would love to uh, redecorate this room and share with you the before and after. So thanks again for stopping in and I hope you guys have a great day.